Well, what's up guys? Today I'm going to take you through all of my makeup collection. I just got the new Ikea Alex storage unit, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and a bunch of stuff didn't fit, so I just wanted to declutter as many products as I could and I will swatch each and every one of them. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, everybody, this is the Ikea Alex storage unit. This is the six drawer unit and this is what it looks like. I bought these acrylic trays uh, inserts from an Australian company. They're okay, it's not my favorite. I had to remove like a bunch of the, um, a bunch of the extra panels to make room for everything and I would not have purchased the same ones if I could do it over again, but I'm loving the Ikea Alex unit. So top drawer is my complexion drawer on the left here. These are all of my tinted moisturizers and foundations. Um, and then I have a couple brow products on the left. Then in the middle here, these are all of my concealers. I mean, even though this is a lot of makeup for like an average consumer, I feel like for a YouTuber or someone with a beauty habit, it's really not that much per category, but <laughs> let's wait till you get to my lip drawer. So on the left back here are all of my powders, my one bronzer, a couple extra tinted moisturizers that didn't fit here. Um, and then in the back, I have my highlighters here. Yes, I only own four highlighters. I feel like to me, that's pretty minimal. I have one powder highlighter and three creams. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty good. I have my Diptyque perfume. And then on the right here are all of my blushes. So in the back, it's more of my brighter colors, like most of the pink shades that I have. And then on the right, I have like reddish, orangey, or um, tan neutral colors. This is my favorite drawer. Yeah, lip products are my favorite to collect. I just love them so much. They're the easiest to reapply and to change out throughout the day, which is why I have so many of them. So let's talk about some of my favorites. All of my favorites are right here. Basically, actually, like right here. <laughs> These are the ones that I reach for the most. As you can see, my Fit Glow Lip Serum collection is loud and proud. It's strong up front. And then I have a similar formula is the New Evolution glosses. Three of them are here. I have my favorite, um, my Wonder Beauty lip setters. I'm obsessed with those. And then some small little Fit Glow travel size serums. And then over here, I've got my favorite Rowan Liquid Lip Balms. Oh, they're so good. I have my one Pat McGrath gloss, and then I have my Sunny's Face lip dips right here. And then I have this little random like zinc oxide chapstick. Over to the left, I have my Kosas wet oil lip glosses, my In Beauty lip glazes, which I'm totally obsessed with right now. Then just to keep it kind of like in the same brand, I put my Kosas lipsticks on the left. Moving to the back here, these are just basically all of my lipsticks, um, all of my bullet lipsticks that is. So pretty straightforward. There's no color or brand organization. Um, and then to the right of that, I have all of my lip balms. So I've got my lip whips that I love, my Honest Beauty lip balms, my Kosas balms, and my Alio Eoso balm. Then back here are more products that I are like generally a little bit more newer to me or don't really have a category. So I just have um, the Sarah Basso of Sarah Loves Makeup products. I love her testing those out, the Basswood Beauty Balms, and then, oh, my new obsession, the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. They're so good. Um, I also have these Oh Natural Lip Glosses, which I love. The formula is beautiful, but I find all of the shades to be a little bit too frosty. And then I have my one... Franken gloss tower 28 gloss. This was the clear shade that I like melted lipstick in to create this shade and then I have oh I have my Glossier What is this vanilla lip thing? And then I have two Persona lip glosses These are the only colors I ever find myself reaching for but I'm decluttering a bunch that I don't wear But these two I love toffee and coral are absolutely beautiful then I have my Say Beauty really great glosses in mm, Fresh and Chill. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Fresh and Chill. I have 
one Lily Lolo gloss. This is in Bitten Pink and it's super beautiful. And then on the right here, I just have lip liners. Yeah. This drawer is all of my eye products. As you can see, I took out all of the panel inserts here because I had originally, I think, bought that to try to like lay each eyeshadow up in a line, but it actually didn't end up fitting properly that way. So I basically just should have gotten the same acrylic trays that I got for the lip and the complexion products. But basically what I've done is I have all of my like ColourPop Super Shock shadows and all of my colorful shades all right here. I have my one Marc Jacobs sequins eyeshadow. There are two like Bite Beauty multi-sticks that are the kind of like shimmery ones. I have two, here are my liquid eyeshadows. There are two Kosas ones and the Glossier one. Then in this one, like these two are all of the products I just, I wear every day. So I've got all of, let's see, what is this? This is the Ritual Defee eyeshadow in half light. Then I've got all of my favorite single eyeshadows. I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, my MAC Indian Wood Paint, Pu Paint Pot. I've got some of my MAC single shadows, my Rowan shadow, um, a random Sephora one, a random J-Cat one. And then here I've got my Tom Ford cream shadow in platinum. I really need to try to use that more. Then I have four of my Hourglass Scattered Lights and three Powder Urban Decay Shadows. Those three Urban Decay Shadows are the really the only powder shadows I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Then back in the back of the drawer, you can see all my brushes. Then I have my Samoa crayons and other like shimmery, fun glitter toppers. Then I have my three beloved Rowan palettes. Um, and then all of the rest are just eyeshadow crayons and pencils and mascara. So pretty basic. Down here, I haven't really figured out what I want to do with this yet. I want to keep my brushes displayed on top of the unit. I just haven't gotten like a, a cup yet for them, um, but I'll do that eventually. So those will go up there. And then this is all my palettes. This is my ColourPop custom palette with all of my beauteous shades. I know that people have asked me to film this like so many times reviewing this palette, but I just haven't gotten all the shades I want yet. Like I would definitely swap out some of these shimmery shades that end up looking the same on the eye. I don't really think I need all these mattes. So I will build that out and film it eventually. Wander Beauty also sent me this uh, Seascape palette and it's the kind of palette where I would not wear these shadows together, but on their own, they're so pretty. Like I wear this matte one all the time and this sea foam one, oh, it's so beautiful. So remind me to use this in a video because it's really pretty. I also don't give enough love to my Aether Beauty Rose Quartz palette. Some of these are so pretty. Um, I just like don't ever think about it, but I need to actively use this more. It's really nice. This is super old. It's the Lorac Unzipped palette. And man, these shades are beautiful. I just don't really reach for powder eyeshadows anymore. I really just reach for like one cream or like one glitter topper, put it all over the eye and I'm good to go, but this is beautiful. The last palette I have is this NYX Ultimate Shadow, like Neons or Brights palette. Oh, look at those shades, they're beautiful. They are incredibly sheer though which is why they're perfect for beginners like me. I was like using this yellow on my eye and I'm sure you can see how sheer that is. If you then put it on your eye, it's like just a tiny little wash of color. So this is great for beginners cause you can keep building it up. Um, but yeah, I think maybe I'll play with this on camera one time. Then in the back here, I have some rhinestones I got when I did my euphoria look. Definitely gonna have to bring those out again. This is just my jewelry drawer. Whoa, jewelry drawer? Jewelry drawer. That is weird to say. Anyways, I put my jewelry in here. It's all gold, pretty simple, pretty basic. Last but not least, this is everything that I'm decluttering and I'm gonna go over that separately so that we can swatch every single item. But yeah, this is all the stuff that did not fit into the other drawers and things that I just don't ever find myself reaching for. 
So let's swatch them. First up, I'm decluttering all of my Han Cosmetics blushes. You may have seen that there are two of them still in my complexion drawer, but that's just because I'm trying to find color dupes for them because they're two shades I'm obsessed with. So Cherry Cosmos and Coral Hibiscus are in the drawer and I'm just trying to dupe them. But basically, if you don't know, Han Cosmetics is on my shit list because they blocked me on Instagram when I criticized them for having a really poor shade range and not including people with deep skin. And the founder, when we went back and forth on their comment section and I kept calling her out on her poor excuses and she knew that, so she blocked me. Now it makes me too angry seeing these products. So yeah, definitely decluttering them. I'll just show you what they look like first. This is rose dust. It's like a very dusty mauve color. I honestly didn't find myself reaching for it all that much anyways, so not sad to see it go. Also, never really wore this color Innocence. I have other pink blushes I really love. This one was super, super light. Peony Pink's another one. I just have other pink blushes I love more. It's just like a bright pink. And I got my cute ass Harry Mall. Love that. Then Toasted Nutmeg. This one's actually really beautiful. Yeah, it's like a oof, look at that. That's definitely not for people with my skin, but it's like a dusty, chocolatey, grayish brown. Super pretty. And then just so you guys can possibly help me dupe these, these are the ones I'm obsessed with that I'm trying to find a replacement for. Oh, look at that color, Cherry Cosmos. Oh man, I just love that. It's a bright pinky red and I just, I'm looking for a dupe. I thought the Fenty Daiquiri dip would be a dupe, but I didn't like the Fenty formula. If you see a cream blush that's like a pinky red, more on the red side, let me know. And this one is Coral Hibiscus. I just love this shade. This one's more dupable. Look how nice that is. Oh, beautiful coral shade. I actually do think that the new Thrive Cosmetics multi-sticks. Um, they just came out with a coral one and I think I may be able to replace this. Let's just continue on the blush train. So this is the NYX Bear With Me in Creative Cleanse. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a gel formula, like a stain, and it's completely neon pink. I actually liked the formula of this, um, but the color was just Intense. Next up, I have this Sunny's Face uh, Air Blush in Moon. And I don't like this formula. Um, well, also the color is not really my jam as much. You know, probably not the best thing for me. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more red. It definitely starts as like a cream. It feels kind of like silicone-y and then it turns into a powder on your cheeks. I find though that this lifts up whatever is underneath it. If I have foundation or concealer, um, all of a sudden I put this on and like the coverage under that is just gone. Um, so I, I hate this. Then I have my Kosas Velvet Melon Blush Duo. I actually love this highlighter, but I have uh, four other highlighters that I really, really love just as much. And I really don't like this blush formula or color. Um, it's pretty when you see it on my hand. But the problem is when I put that on my cheeks, my face eats it. Like I could layer seven layers, 10 layers, 20 layers of that blush and it would disappear within a few minutes. It's crazy, but maybe I need the high intensity one. It's also just a little bit too dewy for my combo skin. So not for me. In terms of other complexion products, I have my, this is actually my favorite foundation of all time, I think. My... Uh, Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. It's their matte foundation stick, but this is the shade Ivory, and I just feel like it's a little too light for me. Um, but maybe I should keep it because, you know, I don't tan at all, so my skin tone doesn't really change, but the shade Buff really is the perfect one for me, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of this. It's pretty old. Then I have this little mini nude sticks highlighter in Hey Honey. Uh, this color is just far too gold for me. I think you can see there. It's pretty, but 
when I put it on my f- cheeks, I'm sure you can see like that's how it looks on my cheeks. Um, it's just not my color. I used to really like these Clinique Chubby Stick moisturizing color bombs, but the formula is a little bit like thin and oily for me. This is actually one of my favorite colors of all time. It's their shade Super Strawberry. I think this color is like exactly what I look for in a pink rosy shade. It just makes my lips look the way that I want them to look. But I do find that the formula is a little bit slippery and I just end up reaching for other formulas I prefer more. Like for example, the New Evolution Gloss and Berry Licious is like the same color, but I like the formula. So this one I'm just gonna pass. I also have the Clinique shade in Fuller Fig. <laughs> and I got this thinking like, oh, this would be like a nice fall shade. It would look like nice, it would look like mature. And then I wore it a few weeks ago. My boyfriend was like, that makes you look old. And by the way, that wasn't like unsolicited feedback. I asked my boyfriend all the time to just share what he thinks about colors and the way they look on me because I just want to get rid of colors that don't look good. And we always agree. And I knew immediately, I was like, yeah, this, this just isn't my shade. I'm also slightly sad about these. These are the Persona glosses. This is the shade pink and it's fine, but I just find that this is like a little, it's a little too light pink, you know? It's like, it's super light. So for me, it just doesn't look good. And then this is the shade Hibiscus, which is super pretty, but I just find that it's like too deep of a shade for me to be reaching for in this particular formula. Um, the Fit Glow Lip Serum in Deep is like basically the same shade and I prefer that formula so much more. The Persona glosses are nice, but they're very, they have very much like an almond oil consistency and I find that they can just be a little bit slip slidey on my lips, but I love the smell, I love the colors. Um, so I did keep Toffee and Coral. Also, I don't know if you can see with the Persona glosses, you can see how oily they are. When I say like an almond oil texture, it's like a thick oil, but you can see that it just kind of breaks up. So I don't like any gloss that's kind of like an oil hybrid, um, except for the In Beauty lip glazes. I'm gonna get rid of this Glossier Red gloss because on me, it's just too sticky. Um, it's beautiful though. It's like such a gorgeous sheer red but I just find that it's, uh, I never reach for it because it gives me that white ring around my mouth. Um, so it's just not, not cute. I'm also getting rid of this uh, Nooni Appleberry Lip Oil. This is in, uh, I can't, yeah, I can't read that. Um, but it's their Appleberry Lip Oil. It's the red one. And I love this. Oh my God, my boyfriend loved the way this looked on me too. And it's so comfortable. Oh, it's like a balmy, thick liquid balm oil. And it's got this kind of like neon pinky red color, but I could tell immediately this had expired. It smells really, really bad now. I'm also going to declutter this product I just bought. It's the Erin Faces Mineral Lip Gloss in Harlem. It's a beautiful color and formula. Like, look how gorgeous that is. The problem is it's just like not for me. Um, this would be a perfect product for people who like thin lip gloss. It has a lot of castor oil in it. So it's a very thin like oil gloss. And I just don't like that. I love my gloss to have more of like a plush gel like liquid lip balm, thicker, more cushiony consistency like the Rowan Bombs or the Fit Glow Lip Serums or the New Evolution Glosses. So this just is just not going to work out for me. I'm also getting rid of this Lily Lolo Gloss in the shade Cocktail. It's a beautiful kind of like soft orange color. Um, yeah, it's and it's got some like shimmer to it. It's nice. I just don't really reach for orange on my skin. I find that I really need a pink to brighten up my face. Next up, I have some more lip oils, if you can sense a theme here. This is the Lila B Lip Oil in Be Elegant. It was a sample, and I actually think the color is kind of nice. It's like a very gray, brown, mauve, not mauve, no. It's just kind of like a gray-brown nude. Um, 
Yeah, I don't like it. I think this smells terrible. Then I have the Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil in Only You. This was also a point perk from Sephora. This color is just not for me. It's a very light pink, and I just don't find that to be very flattering. Um, as you can see here, it's very thin, very high shine, and I find that either because of the formula or the color, it just ends up settling into my lip lines, looking kind of patchy and a little too milky. And then it's also just very thin and slippery. So when I rub my lips together, it'll just migrate outside my lip line. So this is just not for me, but if you like thin formulas, then you might love this. Next up, I have three Kosas lipsticks that I've had for many, many years. First is the shade Thrillist. Um, and I think this color is stunning. It's a bright orangey red, but I've had these for years. Oops, and it's broken. Um, I've had these for years and I've never ever worn this color once outside the house. I just don't, I need a formula that I love in order to wear a bright lipstick. Like the Wander Beauty lip setters, I could do a bright shade in that all day. But for this, I find that the Kosas lipsticks are really tough. They're kind of dry and hard. And as you saw, I kind of had to like warm it up to get going. Um, however, two of their lipsticks, the Stardust and Rosewater shades are sheer balmy formulas. And those I love and I'm keeping. I'm also getting rid of the Kosas lipstick in Electra. It's their cool toned red. See how it's kind of hard when I do that? Like I have to kind of go over it to build it up. That's why it's hard to even like kind of just like blot these on. Um, cause then when I like blend them out, they're pretty hard and they don't blend. So I just also don't really wear bright shades like this. I thought that if I bought these lipsticks, they would make me more sophisticated and bold, but they did not. For the very same reason, I'm also getting rid of Royal. I love this shade actually. I think it's stunning. Um, it's such a beautiful, like bitten berry shade, but I just feel like I have berry shades like this that I have preferred formulas of. I'm also getting rid of two Cary Gran Lip Whips. One of them is just not a shade that I love. It's Genie. Yeah. I mean, man, maybe I shouldn't get rid of that. That's actually really pretty. It's just, you know, they're sheer, but they're buildable. Maybe I'll rethink this one. I do love these so much. I also have the shade Marsala, which is a brown. This one, I just don't really see myself reaching for. It's a little too brown. Like I know that it looks crazy sheer, but I just, yeah, these just aren't my colors. I also have two Honest Beauty lip balms I'm getting rid of, and I have three more in my drawers. This is the shade Summer Melon. It's just too light for me. It's really pretty but I just don't find myself like reaching for that very light pink shade. And I'm also getting rid of dragon fruit because it's a bright pink, but I just feel like, ah, oh, there we go. You know, it's just like not the best pink for me. It's a little bit too fuchsia. I also just bought this gloss by Honest Beauty. It's their new release. It's the glossy lip gloss in Poppy Topaz. It's just not my shade. I don't like the squeezy tube. I find it to be messy. And it's like a lot more neon orange than I expected. And this is what happens when you like squeeze out the product and rub it on your lips. It goes all the way around to the outside and gets super messy. And with that kind of bright shade and like slippery formula, it's just not my jam. I've also got this Ilia tinted lip conditioner in Little Sister. This is like my ideal color. I love this pink. It's so beautiful. The problem though is that A, I don't like the scent. I just love that color. It's a little bit, it's coming across a little bit too dark on camera right now because the sun's going down, um, but it's just a beautiful pink. I just don't like that it smells like crayons and it also has a really, uh, really, really, really thin slippery formula. Like it's when I touch it, like it's just like so oily. I mean, I'm sure you can sense a theme here. I don't really like oily, thin lip products. So um, love the shade, not the formula. And then I have this Bare Minerals Lipstick and Honesty. 
which I thought was going to be, I was trying to like dupe that Ilya one, but this is just way too purple. Like it, yeah, it's just too mauve too purple, not for me. And then I have a bunch of lip liners. Most of these are just super old and busted with this L'Oreal one in Eau Naturale. It's really pretty, but it's like five years old. And it's just, yeah, it's not doing very well. I find that the Thrive Cosmetics lip liner in khaki is the better version of this. I used to be obsessed with this Rimmel lip liner in East End Snob. It's just like a little too light pink for me at this point, I think. Yeah, but it's a beautiful formula. I've also got other drugstore lip liners here. Oh my God, this Gabriel Cosmetics lip liner in Berry was influenced by... Cloudy Apples, if you ever followed her. Ugh, she turned into a gaming channel, but she used to have a really nice beauty and like advice channel. And um, she used to wear this all of the time. The shade is gorgeous, but I don't really find myself reaching for like dark pink lip liners anymore. I also have this NYX liner in Auburn. I just don't wear these shades unless it's in kind of like a balmy sheer formula so I just don't feel like I need this and it's like 10 years old. I also have this Kiko Milano lip liner in 303. I never reached for this at all. I mean it's it's a very pretty lip liner but something about the formula I just didn't love. Like it's not super blendable. It's just kind of tacky meaning like inconsistency. Then I have this uh, It Cosmetics Your Lips But Better lip liner, and I loved this. I don't know. You can see it's busted. I tried breaking it out the other day. This is, yeah, very old, very expired. And then lastly, I have this L'Oreal Color Riche Matte lip liner in Matte Stermind, and... It's old and it's just like not my favorite. Honestly, ever since I found the Thrive Cosmetics and the Citizen Cosmetics lip liners, I don't need anything else. I also have some eye products. Sorry, my hands are busted from those lip liners. Um, I have this old Maybelline Skinny Gel one. I just found that it transferred um, to my like lower lid, which I didn't like. I also have these NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencils. This is in Rust. The shade's beautiful. But I find that these crease and sheer out like crazy on my eyes. But I got them because of Violette. And I also have the one in Milk. I was like, yeah, I'm totally going to use this. Oh, you know what? I should keep this for when I have that NYX Brights palette and I need like a base. Never mind. And then the last products I'm decluttering are these uh, eyeshadow toppers from the drugstore. So the first one is this Wet n Wild Shadow in Cashmere Love. And it's like a nice glitter topper shade. It's really pretty like that, but it's quite patchy. And my Violet Voss glitter topper is way better. I also have another Wet n Wild Shadow. It is Bon Appetit. And I think it's similar. Yeah, so I, I realized this is really similar to my Rowan disco eye but the thing is with the Rowan one I can put that on top of other products because it's a powder and with this one um, Bon Appetit because it is a liquid it's really patchy and it'll pick up other products so you can use this alone and it looks like that um, but I have my Rowan disco eye which pretty much gives the same effect. I've also got this J-Cat shadow and Azul lemonade I never got to wear these. I only bought them like a year ago when Euphoria came out and I was inspired. Uh, these are stunning, but you'll see. Oh, actually, it's kind of working right now. Interesting. So they're just really patchy. Like, I don't know how to wear this because the colors are beautiful. I'll show you the other ones as well. This is Wink Tink. Um, and they're just incredible like duo chromy shades, but I don't know. Can you see like the patchiness? I mean, I don't really know. And like when you blend it, you kind of get that line. I don't know if it's just me though, not having great skills. And the last one I have is Viridian. If you know how I can make these work, let me know. Like, is it just me 
like you can see how patchy that is, right? Like, I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong. Um, but yeah, those didn't work out. So that is it. I hope you like this declutter and you got to see all my makeup items. If you want any reviews of anything, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.